Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies and my name's Angela and I'm the Crazy Poppy Lady and I'd like to welcome you all to the bolt-on video that's finally <laughs> arrived on your doorstep for the Stitch A Week series. Okay, so let me get explaining this one. Now the stitch a week just started off with me showing you a different stitch each week and then I realised that you was going to end up with a, a wad of squares and it was a case of a, what could you do with them rather than having them floating around the house or being used as basic coasters or something like that. Now I know over in the US quite a lot of people like to make dishcloths so this, some of the stitches within this series will work beautifully for dishcloths but over here in the UK it's, and dishcloths aren't really a thing that we normally make because to get hold of the appropriate cottons costs a fortune so why do it? <laughs> it's that simple okay so I'm using my scrap yarns from lots of different projects that I've done over the last year um, to make all these different squares up now the the terminology that I'm using within these videos is a US terminology. If you are you um, only work with a UK terminology and you don't know how to swap the names of the stitches around, okay, um, give me a message on the bottom of this video and from this point on I will then put a stitch chart in into the description box it, box of the, the um, videos and I'll even go back and do it as well on the old ones. Um, but I'm sorry to say I can't sit there and type it all out on screen as well because I've got another 40 of these videos left to go so it's a quite a big project just for me for recording side of it and now what I do say is in regards to all of the videos that come out on my channel make sure you read the description box because if there is an issue that's noticed after it has been uploaded and or edited and uploaded then I will put the issue and a fix in that description box and now this has happened on this series with videos of one through two four so it's one two three and four have all got issues because when I started them I thought I'm only going to do diddy ones I only need to do diddy ones and then I, then of course we decided let's make this into a blanket so because we only had the diddy ones and our largest block um, that I'd done was so much larger than the others oh there we go okay um, what I've decided to do now is on this video there will be um, an in extension section so that I can show you how we can extend these blocks to make them the same size as the rest of them from this point on from block five onwards they're all going to be the same size but of course I read that description box before you start them because the new chain count is in there okay so that will tell you how to go and get your block from the mini mini size up to the larger size so then there is no mucking around for you because you've started later but of course I've got my seven crazy crazies that started right back at the beginning so from this point on in the video we will, I will now be showing you how to take your little block and turn it into a, a bigger block you can also of course follow along with this and do this as well so that you've got an extra five blocks to add to your blanket somewhere else along the project okay so in regards to the blanket side of this tutorial set I will be doing a couple of different choice methods on how to join the blanket at a later point in the set so make sure that you've got a project bag or a box that you can stick your blocks into once we've got a decent stash of them then I will release a, a video showing you a different methods that you can use 
to join these blocks together so of course that will then mean that you will have a more personal blanket for you because you're choosing and the method of joining that you want to use right so and now you've watched this little bit of the video if you haven't started the blocks and you want to I click on this link up here this will take you through to the playlist where all of the blocks that have been made so far have been added and where of course they will be placed each week and once a new one comes out now the videos will be released at 4 p.m. GMT on Tuesdays okay if you would like to show me to show off your finished block then if you could get your um, photograph to me by 4pm on Fridays, that would be brilliant. If you're a bit late, it doesn't matter. It just means that it will go into the following week's a Whips, a Bits and Chat, which is on a Sunday. Okay? Right, so thank you for watching this little section. And if you don't need any more help with your blogs, I will see you all really, really soon. So if you can, please stay in and definitely stay safe. If you're sticking around for the amendment section of this video, it is coming up now. Okay, so now for the amendment videos, our very first block up will be our cobblestone. We are going to be taking it from this size here up to this size by adding a border come on and let's get down to this camera down below and let's get on with it right so uh, let's join our yarn start off by uh, making a slip knot and popping it onto your hook okay and now feel the top of your work you will find your very last stitch because of course uh, we sooched that down and created a, a little knot so what we're going to do is we are going to uh, pop our yarn into that last stitch. It can be a little bit tight. Okay, I pull our yarn through. So it creates a slip knot, a bit cheeky there. <laughs> then a chain up three. And turn your work. Now we're going to place a half double crochet. and then a, a double crochet into the same spot as before okay I like to uh, work over my tail at the same time I am so uh, lazy when it comes to sewing in the ends now we are just going to work our cobblestone stitch all the way along this row so of course that is a find your single crochet then I place in a, another single crochet, a half double crochet, and then a, a double crochet. Oh, sorry about the squeaking on this. Then I skip over to our next um, a single crochet spot. And again, pop in a, a single, half double. Let's move that out of the way. And a, a double. I'm going to keep doing that all the way along. <coughs> okay, so that is a single, a half double and a, a double crochet all into the single crochet from the row below and then for the very last stitch on the row of course it is a pop single crochet into the top of the chain from the previous row then we a chain up two, turn our work, and then a carry on doing our rows of a cobble stitch backwards and forwards. So I will meet you back here in a few moments. Okay, so we're going to do this of first section, and we are going to add three rows to it. Then once we've done that, we are going to work down the side, and we are going to add three rows down the side as well. 
Okay, so to add the section to the side, we chain up two. And of course, we place a one half double crochet and one double crochet into the single crochet spot that you just created. Sorry about the squeak on this. Okay, um, next placement, we're going to drop down and find the gap here. Okay, so it's skipping two. And we are just going to place our single half double and a double in there. And we are going to be skipping two rows. So um, every stitch placement, sorry, it should cover two rows. Okay. And we're just going to work on and down the side of our work until you get to the bottom. And once you get there, meet me back here. Your very last stitch should be a, a single crochet. Okay, into the top of the chain or as close as you can get to that knot that you had first made or last made, depending. <laughs> right, and now on to a row number two. For this one, we are going to chain up two turn our work and place a half double crochet and a, a double crochet into that single crochet spot okay now we're going to skip over so let's skip two stitches and then into the top of the single crochet again we are going to place a, a single crochet a half double crochet and a double crochet and we are going to repeat that all the way along this side of our work. Now we're going to keep doing this and backwards and forwards until you have a total of three rows. Okay, I will meet you back here when you have got your third row completed. Right, so I'm back with you for the end of that third row. Of course, I'm going to be placing in a, a single crochet into the a very last stitch. And now we are going to turn and we are going to work on this corner. So it's a case of a chaining two. And then it's a case of working our half double crochet and our double crochet into that single crochet spot. Now we want to evenly place, of course, our cobblestone stitches along this section again. So the first placement is and where our rows join we are going to be a bit cheeky here okay our second one we're going to skip and we are going to place into the gap Okay, so this is of course our starting chain here that we're working into now. So we're just going to place it into the gap where the starting chain is, which will hopefully mean it will pull it and make it look a bit neater and less gappy. And we'll skip across into the next gap, do the same. To our next gap or thereabouts and our last one into the last gap now hopefully we've got exactly the same amount of cobble stitches on this end as we have on the bottom so it's a good idea now to have a count and remember how many we've done Okay, on this first block here. That's one, two, three, four, five. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, plus the one for the corner. So beautiful, we've got our six done. And now it's a case of us doing a single crochet into that corner stitch and chaining two, turning your work and doing a further two more rows. I will meet you back here once you finish those two rows. 
Right, so we are nearly there. We are on to our very last side. And of course, we want to make sure that it matches up on this side. So uh, what we're going to do is we are going to do our chain two. We are going to then place into that single crochet uh, right close to your hook, the half double and the uh, double crochet. And then we are going to work our cobblestone stitch along, picking up on this, uh, corner, this stitch here and then every two rows okay are going along and hopefully uh, you will have exactly the same amount of cobblestone stitches on this side as you would on that side give me a second i'll just do my first row and then i will tell you how many we've got so we definitely definitely know All right so and chain up two half double crochet and a double crochet i am so sorry about the squeaking today going that was the chair not the hook that time okay so our next stitch we will be placing into this single crochet here so that's a single half double and a double and then our next one we will be uh, popping in here so that's the skip two rows okay and make sure that you scoop up this thread as well and um, this yarn as well that you've carried up so make sure that is sitting above for your hook as well as if the rest of the stitch right i will meet you back here in a second i'm going to clean attempt to clean this hook down i cool my hands down cool the yarn down <laughs> so it doesn't squeak anymore Okay, so for this very first row, you will have a, a total of a nine cobble stitches running across this edge if you had nine running this edge. Okay, right, so now it's just a case of doing two more rows of the cobble stitch working along this side here and then we are all finished. So I'll meet you back here in a few moments once you have done that. Right, so here we are I'm back for this a very last stitch which of course is a, a single crochet into the top of the corner chain we are going to chain up two and cut off our yarn pull up the loop and then scooch those chains down to form a knot then it's just a case of a sewing in any ends that you have on show and we're all done and dusted so as you can see and this one now is the same size as the very first cobblestone which was of course our week one i hope you like the method that i've used for this border now remember there are different methods that you could use to bring your square up to shape it's just i wanted to be able to show you that you can also use some of these stitches as a border stitches and, and not just as the middle of your blanket. Now it is time to do a block number two. Okay, so that is taking it from this size here and bringing it up to the same size as the block below. Come on, let's go see what I've done with this one. okay so we are now on to a week number two which is the a closed shell stitch now all we're going to do to this one is attach our yarn and work straight the way round the whole project it's really really nice a really really quick and hopefully it looks all right let's get on with it right so uh, grab your hook grab your yarn and of course we will be uh, still using the uh, closed shell stitch so where are we going to join this one today hmm okay so let's get started I pop a, a slip knot on your hook and grab your fabric all right we are going to a place into if you look down the side here we have our chain coming up so into the top of that chain i'm going to place a slip knot okay then we are going to chain up two this is going to count as one of our stitches so we're going to place two more double crochets into the same place okay and that is the first part of our shell then we are going to skip two stitches and place a single crochet 
into that third stitch then we are going to skip, skip two stitches and we are going to place a five a double crochets into the same place skip two stitches and pop out a single crochet in and we're going to repeat that section all the way and down the side of our work Now we are up to our corner, we are going to place in this corner stitch three double crochets Chain one, turn your work slightly and then I'll pop in another three double crochets into that corner stitch okay so uh, let me talk you through that one again into that very last corner stitch you're going to place a three double crochets a, a chain one and a three double crochets this will of course will give us our corner to work in on the next row around Okay, and now well, we are working and down the side so we want to evenly space out our stitches so we are going to check the side and you should hopefully see two stitches and then we place our single crochet in okay now skip two stitches so let's basically skip two rows and add in your five double crochet Uh, skip two rows, pop in your single crochet Again and skip two rows uh, Double crochet Skip two and add your single right okay so as we are working along the long side because we added this extra row in um, at the top of our block we need to do a little bit of fudging on the top um, on the side sections so that they match out so to do the fudging what we are going to do is instead of placing our double um, our single crochet sorry into the stitch here which would have been the skip two rows we're actually going to be a bit naughty on this last section and skip three rows and pop it in there so keep this one a little bit loose okay it will still sit quite nicely anyway okay now this is a purpose mistake <laughs> that is what i'm calling it or we can just say we fudged it all right okay so now we're going to work into the corner and we're going to do the same style corner as here so uh, that is a case of uh, finding that corner chain popping in three double crochets and chain one turn your work slightly and add in a three more double crochet 
Now, yes, mine's not looking extremely neat and I'm sure that you will find the stitch properly. I'm just whizzing through this for the second. I will, if needs be, I will come back and neaten it up in a moment. Okay, so, and now we are going to be placing our single crochets into the middle of the cluster stitch on this bottom of our, on the bottom of our work, sorry. And then we'll find the skip two and then place your cluster into the middle section there okay so that's into that single crochet or the base of the chain I should say now what we want to do is and make sure that our top shell and our bottom shells are match up so that we have the same amount Okay, so we've got the corner one, two, a cor and then a half, which will be a corner when we get all the way round. So that is our shell repeat one. And now we go on for shell repeat and number two. Oops, sorry. Um, finish off there now we are back into the corner again so you find that corner stitch place in a three double crochets your chain one and your three double crochets Okay, so and now let's lay that out and look at our work now remember for this corner we did fudge it a little bit so our first um, single crochet is into the uh, top of the third row or midway through your blue section if you've striped it like me okay so skip that those first two stitches and pop your single in There we go. And, and then it's a case of a matching up how we've done it here. So our next one is between the two colour changes. Okay. And then back to normal. Now we're at the end, all we need to make sure we do is get our three double crochets into the same place as our starting three double crochets. Chain one. And then a slip stitch to the top of your starting chain. Apologies if you can hear the noise, the background noise. The um, council are out fixing and cutting down bushes and things. Alright, so there we go. So that is the end of the first round. Now because this is so wibbly wibbly wobbly, what we're going to do is we're going to do one more round. Now this is 
um, the stitch that I showed you at the end of um, video number two okay so I will talk you through it again now now to start our row number two what we're going to do is place a, a single crochet in the same place that your chain came out okay now we are working into this gap here where the single crochet is we are going to change it up a bit because we will be placing a double crochet half then a half double crochet and then a single crochet then a half double crochet and then a double crochet all into that single crochet from the row below which will give us a, a nice flat top to work into when it comes to sewing our square to the blanket okay so uh, let me show you we go double crochet half double crochet single crochet go up the stitches again half double crochet and then a double crochet then we uh, skip two stitches and place a single crochet into the top of that third double crochet in the cluster and we're ready to work onto our next section of reverse cluster or what I don't actually know what this stitch is called okay um if you do uh, pop it in the comments section down below help a girl out right but anyway uh, let's move on again to our next uh, gap between the clusters okay so into skip two and into the single crochet we will be adding the uh, double crochet half double crochet up next oh. sing oh single crochet half double crochet and double crochet and skip two and place that single crochet into the top of there we'll do this one more time so that is a, a double crochet half double crochet sorry if i'm shouting i'm trying to go over the noisy neighbors <laughs> single crochet half double crochet and double crochet right so and now we are up to our corner now okay so and now we are on to our corner so for our corner we do a, a single crochet chain two and pop a another single crochet and back into the same spot that will give us a, a nice corner to work into when of course we're sewing our blocks together now we are going to repeat what we have done across the top here and down the side here actually we're going to repeat it all the way around so the only bit you need to remember is if you've got a dip you're putting in the stitch combination which is a double crochet a half double crochet followed by a single and then we add in <laughs> the half double crochet and then the double crochet are bringing us back up and then it is a case of popping that single crochet into the third double crochet in your shell and do that all the way along and then when we get to the corner it's a single crochet chain two single crochet right i'll meet you back here um when you're coming up to this very first corner okay so we are now up to the corner and of course we already have a single crochet here so all we're going to do is place a, a single crochet into our chain two space and chain two okay and then a slip stitch into the top of that single crochet to finish it off oh. chain up two cut off your yarn and then scooch your knot down and we are all done yes the edge still is a tiny bit wibbly wobbly and um, but when we uh, sew this to the blanket it will help pull it back into shape and there will be no issues at all right so and now it is time for week number three now this one is the shells and chain block right so here we are i'm back for the amendment for week three's shells and chain now what i would suggest is if you do have enough yarn to do it just run off and do this block as it states in the video and then use your spare one as a coaster <laughs> yeah can you tell 
Uh, this one is that this cup's starting to work well for me. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. But if you don't want to and you want to use it as a border, we're gonna now work on to that. Right, so I uh, grab your hook, grab your yarn, and I'll meet you back here in a moment. Right, so here we are back for the um border section of this smaller square. Right, so what we're going to do is we are going to grab our yarn and pop a slip knot on our hook, and then make sure that you are working on the last row, okay? So you'll notice that because we've got the little peaks here. And then what I need you to do is find that knot, <laughs> okay? Squidge your ends and find your knot. And then in the same place as the knot, we're going to, oh, in the same stitch, sorry, we're going to pop in our hook, pull up a loop, and finish it off as a, a standing single crochet. Now we are going to do the same stitch pattern as the original square had. So for each little shell of stitches, or what I may end up calling a cluster at some point during this video, in that little set of stitches is a, a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then you end up skipping two stitches and placing a single in the top of this middle double crochet. Okay, so and that is your stitch pattern all the way through. The main bit you're going to need to worry about is, of course, the corners. Now, this pattern, we are not going round and round. I did try that, but it gave us a massive gaps on the corner. And personally, I find that quite ugly. Um, so we are going to be going um, backwards and forwards three times. Okay, on the third row of each side, there is going to be a little change in your shell pattern. I will explain that when I get to it. Okay, but for this first section, uh, sorry, for this top side, what we are going to do is finish off this row together. So you'll find that single crochet, pop in your shell combination or cluster, which of course is a, a double crochet, a chain one and double crochet. chain one double crochet and a single crochet into the top of that second double crochet and then skip straight over to our single crochet point for the next shell Okay, and now skip over to the next shell for the single crochet placement. Now we're on to our last shell of the row. In total on this row you should have a three shells. And of course our two corner single crochets on the corner. Right, so I finish that up with a single crochet. Okay, so now we are going to be uh, working up onto a uh, row number two, and it is the same principle as going up on the rows with this block. So that is a chain three, turn your work into the same place the chain came out. We are going to place a uh, one more double crochet. Now that chain three, of course, counts as a double crochet and a chain one. So remember that on the way back, <laughs> right? And now we, of course, uh, do our shell stitch again. Uh, sorry. Pants. Right, so now we just repeat the same pattern as we previously done and this time we will be ending with two double crochets in the last shell placement, not a full shell. Okay, so follow along with me and we'll get there quite quick.
okay so now we've come up to our last stitch okay so for this one of course we are going to be placing a, a double crochet chain one double crochet that is it no a third double crochet okay now we're up to row number three now this one is a little bit special we are going to chain one and turn our work and place a, a single crochet into the same place the chain came out of now our shells are going to be a slightly different because this is where we want to try and make the top as flattish as possible so we will be placing in to that single crochet a, a double crochet chain one half double crochet that's right you heard it half double crochet chain one double crochet okay so then that will give us a, a flatter edge to our shell now on to the next section which of course in the uh, second double crochet it yeah, pop a single now i'm going to talk you through in the next cluster again that is a, a double crochet chain one half double crochet chain one double crochet single crochet into the top of that second double crochet now back to our cluster last time on this row for this combination double crochet a chain one half double crochet chain one and double crochet okay so and now we have come up to our very last stitch so in there we will be placing okay so find the top of your chain and a pop in a, a single crochet Okay, so that is the end of your first side complete. Now to move on to the second side, we are not going to bother to undoing um, tying knots and all that stuff. We're going to just work straight down this side here. Right, so and now we are going to be uh, working along this side. So what we need to do is a chain up three. Okay, into the same place that your chain came out, we are going to place a, a double crochet. then we are going to scoop up, scooch over and place a, a single crochet where our two colours uh, where our edging now meets and then we are going to work our shell stitch which is the normal one that I, we've done the rest of the pattern with and so we're going to do that all the way along here we'll hopefully have a three complete shells before we get to the end okay so that's shell number one which of course is the chain two single crochet chain two single crochet chain chain two then we're going to skip over and pop a, a single crochet in to anchor it off now we are going to pop in our second shell Now in theory the gap between these of course should be um, two double crochets between each shell, shell and single crochet placement but of course as we're working along the side it can be a bit awkward to find it so it is a case of a guesstimation and for this row okay so now we have got one two we need our third then we are anchoring it in at the end with a single right so and now for the second row you are going to chain up three turn your work and pop in a, a double crochet 
Now of course we do our shell stitch all the way along. So in the uh, drops we do our shell stitch and in the tops we do our single crochet. Okay, so our last placement of stitches is a single into the top of the chain. Right, so now we are on to row number three. This one needs a little bit of a tweak at the start, and that is a chain two, which accounts as a half double crochet. Turn your work and pop in a double crochet into the same place that the chain came out. Now we uh, skip over and do our single crochet placement and we are now working on to our sort of revised shell for the last row so that in this stitch pattern it is a, a double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. And chain one, double crochet. Okay, so it's the same as stitch pattern as the top of this row here. So then we jump over for our single and back in to the shell stitch. So that is the a double chain one, half a double, chain one, double. Skip over for our single. And where are we? Yep, last shell and double chain one, half double chain one and double. Then we are placing a half double crochet. Okay, oh, would help if I set it up. Hey, so that is a half double crochet into the very last stitch okay and now we are on to a side number three right so for side number three we are going to be copying side number two i will meet you back here shortly right so for the very last side we've got a little bit of um corrective work to do i'll put it like that just to make sure that we don't have any massive gaps along this section here now if you notice you've got a little gap there but it's nothing to worry about okay and the same there there is a little gap there still nothing to worry about but when i came to doing it up here it was a big gap and it looked horrible right so what we're gonna do is we are going to chain up three there we go and we are going to place our next stitch into the bottom where this um, half double crochet was okay that's our fix and then we are going to chain one and add a another double crochet in there that fills the gap okay so and now we're going to come down and uh, where our border joins we are going to place a, a single crochet hey that's better now is a case of a popping in our shells running along here with our single crochet dividing like we've done down the bottom so ideally you want to mirror this okay so the easiest way i've found to fix and work out where your placement is is to just lay it down run my finger up and go that spot that spot that spot because of course on this it is the side panel of your work so it's harder to work it out okay so on this a little light blue section 
uh, you want to make sure you have got your three shells separated by two single crochets once you've done that meet me back here right so here we are coming up to the end of the row of course we now have our three shells within this little panel here separated by our two singles and hopefully they match the corresponding stitches down here right so a last set of stitches is of course that single that would be in the same place as um, the start of your border Okay, and then for our last section we are going to place in the three uh, um, double crochets okay so it's finding that very last stitch and pop in your three double crochets separated by a, a chain one there we go and then that will fill in that little gap okay so that is the end of this row done now let's work on a two row number two right so for row number two we are going to chain one we are going to turn our work and we are going to place a single crochet and back in the same place that chain started we are then going to work our stitch as normal along this side so if it's a, a dip we are popping in our shell stitch if it is a peak we are sticking in a single and we'll work that all the way along until we get to the end when we get to the end it should be ending on a single crochet right now time for our last row this is the magic row last one left to go we are chaining up to turning our work and placing a, a double crochet into the same place that that single crochet I came out of then we are going to magically stick in another double crochet without a chain in between <laughs> just to fill up a gap and make it more square then it's a case of a single crocheting into the top of the second double crochet along okay so then we are doing our little shell combination but this is the modified because it's the last row so that is a double crochet chain one half double crochet chain one and double crochet we'll do that all the way along I will meet you for that last set of stitches okay so that is the shell combination then our single then the shell and repeat that all the way along right so into this a very last stitch you are going to be placing a, a double crochet and two half double crochets with a no chain between okay that makes it nice and square at the end sorry I would have shown you but I've recorded it and it was out of focus right so and now it's just a case of either chaining up two or pulling your yarn through twice depending on how you want to do it and then a scooch down your work and tie off your yarn and cut off your yarn and tie in your ends hide them away and then pop this one in the box for another day and now it's time for the c to c a mini block come on then let's go and add a couple of extra rows to this one right so and now it's time to work on to a week number four's square which of course was the c to c mini we only need to make it a one square bigger okay so it only needs to be one square and we're only going to be running this extension square along one side or should I say up one side and across the top or you can do it down one side and across the bottom the choice is up to you okay just remember it has to be that way or that way okay we can't do that one and that one all <laughs> right let's move that out the way and let's grab our hook and grab our yarn okay I'm gonna go from this way and then up because of course I've got my label here so I don't want to have to take it out I'm being lazy <laughs> right so what we're going to do is uh, grab our yarn pop a, a slip knot on your hook okay okay so we are going to place our hook into this edge stitch let's 
close enough. Shh, don't tell people I said that. <laughs> right, then we're going to pull, it, pull our yarn tight. Now it's a case of starting the stitch. So we are going to be chaining up five. Okay, and just working into the chain, we are going to hook over and we are going to do a corner to corner square. So for this one, we are doing the mini. So that is a half double crochet in the third, fourth and fifth chain from the hook. Okay, so once you've got that, we are going to come across and find the gap between our blocks. Okay, it's quite easy, just give it a general tug and you can see it. Then we're going to place our hook through, pull up a loop and finish it off as a slip stitch. Get that nice and tight. Okay, now it's a case of working on to the second block. We are going to chain two, skip all the way across this block and pop our hook in the gap between the blocks. Then we're going to pull up the loop and finish that off as a slip stitch. Now we're going to carry on and we're going to actually work back along this row. Don't panic, it does work out in the end. I've done it. Right, so we are going to uh, chain up two and turn your work. Okay. In uh, to this uh, chain two, we are going to place a three half double uh, crochets. Now you do have a little bit of wiggle room for this one so if when you do this block it's not sitting as neatly as the other ones because it's being tugged together pop another chain in on this section here okay before building the stitch up now we are going to slip stitch into that very first gap where the between the chain and stitch which you would have normally done anyway okay so we slip stitch into there then we're going to turn our work again there's a lot of turning involved in this one so turn our work and we are going to slip stitch in across the top okay so as if you were doing a, a decrease okay so that's number two into the last number three okay and so and now we're working on to a block number three so with this one chain two and then work three double crochets, uh, sorry, three half a double crochets around that double crochet there. Okay, just as if you were building your block normally going backwards and forwards. Then you got it right and slip stitch into that one. And now we are going to repeat block number two. And that's all it is all the way along. It's repeat block two and repeat block three. So for block two, chain two, or if your chain's quite tight, chain three. Find your gap, slip stitch in, chain up two, turn your work, work around the chain with three half double crochets. Come on hands and there we go okay and then a slip stitch into the block to the side of it there we go turn your work slip stitch across for a count of three now we are doing the repeat of the second block in a sequence Okay, so that is chain two, three half double crochets into your block. And then a slip stitch to the next. Right, I'm going to leave you to carry on with the rest of this row. There will be a link in the description box down below that will say a corner to corner a block two and then corner to corner block three that is the timestamp for both of those blocks okay so if you need any additional help you can just refer back to that I will meet you when you get to the end of this row okay so for the very last block you're going to do a chain two and then you're going to slip stitch into the knot at the end 
chain up two, turn your work, do three half double crochets, slip stitch into the previous block, turn your work, slip stitch for a count of three, Right, so for our corner block we're going to chain up two and we are going to place a, a double crochet into where that chain two came out. I find it makes it nice and neat doing it that way. Okay, then a, another one around the chain as you would normally do. And now instead of doing a third one, we are going to chain two and bring that chain down into the block. Okay, that will then make sure that our yarn of course, let me pull that up so you can see, so that our yarn is now sitting along the base where we need to work it from rather than up the top. Okay, let's pop this yarn back on the hook. Right, now it's a case of a chaining up, do, jump in that block and uh, pop in a slip stitch into the gap there, chain up two, down your work, pop two double crochet, uh, three double crochets in as you was doing on the previous row. Okay, and now it's a case of doing exactly the same as you did along this section a few moments ago. Okay, I will meet you when you get to the end. Right, so here we are back for our last block. So of course for this one it's really nice and simple. It is a chain two. And then your three half double crochets, a slip stitch up to the uh, top corner stitch, and turn your work and finish it off as you did when you did this original square. Then it's just a case of a chaining up two, cutting off your yarn, scooching down your knot, and of course, a sewing in those ends. Right, so there you go. That is how we can use some of the stitches that we will be using, or should I say most of the stitches that we'll be using during this stitch a week to also add them to borders. Whether it be the same stitch for the same stitch or whether you decide you're going to use these borders on a completely a different stitch. Hey, you're a creative one. Get playing. All right, I am going to head off now. Um, thank you ever so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. I will see you all again next week for another perfect square this time. Ta-ra for now, everybody.